That was my nigga. I'm trying to figure out how I can get my low rider in the motherfucking shot too, man. I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for snitches. What's good, what's good, back up in the building, it's your boy, DJ Dells, back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show, taking a look at the Diamond Supply, Ronnie Fi collaboration with Asics. I already reviewed these a couple of days ago, the Gel Light 5s, which I think are incredible, and I just now got these in the mail, shout out to Kevin, was able to work something out. And here we go with the review on these gel sagas. I got a size 8.5 because they do run big. And let's check them out. Now, so let's open them up. Comes with your baggie right there with your laces inside. And there's the shoes. So right off the bat, I will say, I personally, first impression, I think these are way better. Just my taste. I know that these are more popular, more sought after, I'm pretty sure. They may even be worth more, but I personally like these way, way better. I think it's a way cleaner look, hotter look, definitely digging this color way better. Even though I know they're two different models, just in general. Out of the two that came out, definitely like this one better. I know the majority of the people watching are probably going to like this one better. You can leave your comments. Let me know which one you like better. You know, pick one. Do you like the Fives or the Sagas better? Leave your comment in the box. Getting to this shoe, though, because this is a review. Let's get up close and check it out. As you can see, you've got a black perforated leather right there. Really nice. And then you have your pigskin suede right there in that teal. You've got a full grain leather also over there. And you got more suede that's not perforated at all. And then you have perforated leather right there on the toe. Very nice and just comparing both leathers look how small the perforations are right there love that it's like how the leather is over here see how those tiny perforations look first over here you got more of a bigger set of perforations and then on this model you have tiny perforations I like this look better. It's also lighter on this than over here. This is a little darker. The actual shade. You have your flat laces. It also comes with these laces right there. These laces right there. And these laces right here. Which is interesting because I picked up a pair of rope laces for these Sockenies. Which seem to look exactly the same almost. Except for the tips. Check that out basically looking the same and this is 3M by the way up top you have your A6 branding you have a real nice leather inside also as you can see and then there's a look at the footbed with your diamond branding and then more branding on the other footbed quick look at the medial side of the shoe there's a look at the back with your Ronnie Fogg branding with the diamond supply branding I like how it was incorporated that micro perforated leather right there you have some 3m too I'll show you real quick bang quick look at the outsole one thing I kind of wish they did with this model which I would have liked is if they added some sort of silver I think that if this was silver I would have preferred that there is like you know little hits with the 3m right there but for the most part, if it was like a silver, I would have liked that maybe. Or even if the back was like this. You know, some may agree with me, some may disagree with me. I'm just giving you my opinion. I would have liked a back that looked like that. I love how this looks. It's like scratched silver right here. It looks fantastic. Really, really nice. Make sure to check the full detailed review of this model. 
really fond of this model. It's one of my favorite pickups of the year, definitely. Really digging this one. Uh, this one is hot. I mean, it's going to look amazing on feet. I'm about to show you in a second. But, you know, just giving you an honest, detailed review, I wanted to show you both and give you my opinion on both. This one's very nice. I really am happy I got them. I just prefer this one better. <laughs> I'm so happy with this model, man. If you're able to get this one, I recommend it. If you like this one better, I recommend it too. I mean, you know, I don't really see any issues except, you know, a little bit of a mess with the glue right there. It's, but that doesn't drive me that crazy. It's black on black. I know some heads may get upset by that, but I'm okay with that. As long as there's not like glue on the suede, that's what I hate. That's when, like, I'm like, damn, that just sucks. When I was reviewing the other shoe, I was mentioning also a cool thing about the pack is this, which holds the laces. I love how they use the inspiration from Tiffany's. You can see the bag is very, very similar. Your pull string bag. Basically the same kind of material. Really like how they incorporated that with this pack. I know you guys want to see what these look like on feet. Hit that like button right now. Let me know. And with that said, let me hit you with that on foot look. All right, here we go with a look on feet. As far as the fit, I recommend going true to size or going down half a size. I really don't recommend going up half a size unless you have no choice. Then you gotta do what you gotta do if you really want the shoe. I think they look hot. I definitely like the other model better, I think. But hey, you know, I know a lot of people are gonna like this colorway better. I assume that. I may be completely wrong. A lot of people may agree with me. Who knows, we'll see. I always read the comments. I try to read as many as possible. If I ever miss your comment, you ask a question, don't ever take it personal. It's just me literally missing your comment, your question. Don't forget to listen to the newest podcast. That will be in the description box below. Catch up on all the reviews. I've done a ton of episodes. Been hitting you guys with sometimes two in one day. At least one for the past two weeks. So please, look in the description box below if you're bored, or even if you, you know, you may not be bored, but you just want to watch more content, just look in the description box, go to the main page, and check out some of the latest episodes. I have tons of episodes you're going to love watching. This is the Sneaker Addict Show here at YouTube.com forward slash The Sneaker Addict. If you love sneakers, that's what it's all about. It's as simple as that. I try to give you guys real detailed, real reviews. Really try to keep them honest. That's it for today's episode. With that said, let me hit you with that. Birds off you. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button right now if you enjoyed today's episode. And with that said, we out. Thanks, Dells. I want to appreciate you doing this. It's cool to be on your channel. What's up, Dells? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. How can I help you today? Uh, I'm looking for um Conway West. He has a new um shoe. I was looking for that Conway West shoe. Jeezy. Jeezy? Yeah. 